guys, what's up? It's Omar Farouk here from Tryon League, and uh, today we're gonna discuss about the Sixth Man of the Year award in the NBA. And this came to my mind when, in the halftime show during the Bulls and Heat game, they were discussing about who was gonna be the Sixth Man of the Year: J.R. Smith or Jamal Crawford. Those are the main two guys that are going for this award. I mean, everyone else can just take a step back because these two are really good. So. Basically, I just wanted to give my opinion on this. So, let me just give you some stats. J.R. Smith, who's on the New York Knicks, he's been aver he, for the season, he's averaging 17 points per game, and he's also been getting 5 to 6 rebounds a game, too, which is a big boost. And then we have Jamal Crawford, who's on the Clippers, and he's been also been at 16.6 points a game, which is almost 17 points a game. He doesn't really have the point, I mean, the rebounds or the assists, but, you know, he, he's very valuable to the Clippers in terms of his scoring. And, you know, it's really it's really interesting because both of these teams are in the third seed in their respective conferences. So, I mean, it's like, it's almost as if both players are doing exactly the same thing for their team. Even their PER, which is the player efficiency rating. I mean, J.R. Smith has a 17.01, and then, like, Jamal Crawford has, like, a 16.9. So, I mean, it's not... It, there's not that much difference, but I think you know I have to go with J.R. Smith because it, especially recently he's been playing about the 30 point games. It's ridiculous. And another thing why I would go with J.R. Smith is because Melo's been out, Stoudemire has been out, and even Chandler has been out at some point. And J.R. Smith has led this team in those situations. I mean, he's hit game winners. I mean, he's. He's been like the star player for this team, and I mean that that is really really good. And he's coming off the bench, so I mean he's. I think that's what gives him the edge over Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford hasn't really had that chance to be the the, the alpha dog, but I mean you know, it uh, for him he has Blake Griffin, he has Chris Paul. It, it it he's just more of like the third option. Whereas J.R. Smith on some nights will be the first option, and then if Melo's there, then he'll be the second option. And he's really good if he's scoring 30 points like he did last night when Melo was there. So, I mean, J.R. Smith, he's my pick for sixth man of the year. I also want to discuss the San Antonio Spurs. They are just amazing. I mean, I love Tim Duncan. He's one of my most favorite NBA players. They're 55-17 and 17 right now. Now let me just give you some history right now. The Spurs have been on a streak where they've gone 50 where they've gone 50 wins in 13 straight seasons. I mean that's incredible. And now I mean look, Tim Duncan's what 37. Manu Ginobili, he's like injured a lot often. I mean, he's like 34. I mean, Tony Parker's the youngest out of the big 3 and he's 29. And they just keep on going and they're going to be probably first in the West again for the third straight year. And, I mean, last year, I actually, after those first two games against the Thunder in the Western Conference Finals, I thought they were going to beat them. You know, Thunder came back. But, I mean, this year, I don't think, I mean, that, that if they meet again in the Western Conference Finals, that would be a very, very awesome series. The Spurs are doing very good. And, you know, they just play team basketball. I mean, no one... At, like once the glory everyone is just doing their their job i mean when popovich took out the big three with danny green out for that miami heat game the bench guys almost beat the heat so i mean this team is very good and that should be a team that all the that the entire western conference should watch out for because they are for real tim duncan is back he scored 35 i think last night and he hit that game winner so i mean they are really really good and the western conference has to watch out for that so that's it please give me your feedback by leaving a comment please like subscribe and then follow us on twitter at try on league and uh i'll see you in the next time so long peace